Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> Getting their tomatoes in already. Those are tomatoes. Oh, they don't look like that. I can't see them too far away. Yeah, I still can't see. Well, if they're not tomatoes, I'm sure they'll be peppers. That's about the only kind of ground fruits they seem to grow in this area. I, of course, had been working on switching. The next going concern, high value of antioxidants that are in very short supply and are about to be in super mega fucking demand as um, <clears throat> people's tumors start to show up from Fukushima. Because if you've got radiologicals internalized, about the only safe way to deal with it before the tumors get oh. noticeable. Proof. Oh. oh, you stay there. Is with um. Did I say free radicals? Sorry, <clears throat> I'm a little pooped. Uh, you're trying to get rid of free radicals. High in antioxidants. Let me say that again. Antioxidants are the remedy to free radicals. Uh, basically, they help repair the uh, DNA damage or and kill the damaged cells before they start mutating into a tumor. Or allowing the other kind of tumor, which is like fungal growth. Oh, so there you go. Oh, wow, well, you're right. Oh, yes, that, that was the other thing. We'll just do a short, even though it's not May the 4th, May 4th, 1970. There is a date to celebrate with shame and, well, a week later, pride, uh, because Kent State, Ohio Kent State University, where uh, there was a nice, peaceful, demonstration by the university students uh, and basically it was in response to uh, I'm not a hack! Richard Nixon uh, the US president at the time um, expanding the totally illegal Vietnam invasion over the borders into Cambodia uh, the Cambodia campaign, they have few names for it, which, you know, of course, as things go, as soon as the uh, military industrial complex smells money blood, quickly grew into Operation Linebacker, where they started blowing the piss out of everybody and quickly managed to somehow or another uh, <coughs> seat that fucking piece of garbage that ran the Khmer Rouge. You get the picture, because look it up. Do videos if you want to commemorate it. It was fucking disgusting. I was so fucking outraged. I could have just fucking drop kicked the fucking TV when I saw what was going on. Shooting these wonderful, beautiful university students. Well, a few of them were stinking, dirty, fucking corrupt, peace-loving fucking hippies like me. Well, okay, I'm not really a hippie, but... Dr. Thomas clearly sort of kind of was. And that's my character. Yeah, one of the nicest scenes was um, beautiful young woman walks up to the line of armed soldiers and <clears throat> Sticks a nice flower down his gun barrel. I'm sure he got court martialed for it. I think he was a Ohio State Guard. But, well, and shortly, you know, we quickly can't have shit like that happening. Gun the fuckers down and they cold bloodedly murdered. Just started firing into the fucking crowd like it was Tiananmen Square. Murdered four students and injured six, according to the official story but fortunately it, it did that's back before all the uh, North American youth I won't just say American were um, 
know, anesthetized by fluoride and mass EMF programming and the whole nine yards. And, uh, yeah, when they still had a little balls courage and, man, a smidgen of intelligence as much as you, you can at that age when your body's trying to undergo hormonal shifts. And, uh, four million students, and that's a, that's, uh, like saying eight million today went on general strike all across the fucking nation and said, they're gonna fucking gun us down in fucking cold blooded murder? And then conscript us to go kill innocent brown people in Asia? Fuck you! Stick your fucking system up your fucking asses! We're not fucking cold blooded murderers! Fuck you in hell, Richard fucking Nixon, you fucking piece of shit. And all you that voted for him, you can join him. If you can't fucking get over your fucking sick ways, all you ever do is think about your fucking selves, and this is where it leads to. You're nothing but a bunch of fucking Romans. Cowards!